What's up guys? We got a December 2018 edition of Motown Mail with 20 month old Maddie Mo. Say hi. Say hi. She's a little cranky today. Uh, Mini Mo did so good in his video, so I, f I figured it wasn't going to have you know work out where she's not cranky. So it's always going to be one of them. Um, so here's the non-certified stuff that I picked on the month of March 28, uh, March, December 2018. Went to a free autograph signing with former Blackhawk Jeremy Roenick, who was a really cool dude. Um, I've always heard good things about him, and it, it, it proved true. Uh, very nice guy. I got this mini helmet sign that my buddy Doug gave to me. So that turned out really good. So I got that. Um, I got his rookie card signed, Pro Set rookie card. I'm surprised I was even able to find one. You want to show it? Here, right here. So I got a Pro Set rookie card signed. Maddie Mo wants to show it off. Beautiful. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, that's the back of it. <laughs> Here's the front. Whoop. So that turned out really good. And they're giving away like free photo files, which is crazy. Like like actual photo files. I had a free signing. So I'm like, do you mind if I get a free uh, photo? He's like, no, for sure, man. So got a nice photo file, uh, 8x10 signed. Um, last, let's, let's, a little flustered right now. Next, let's knock off some balls. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Steve, uh, Purple GT 22, um, was cool enough to hook me up with this Richie Ashburn signed ball. Uh, really cool. My, uh, my other Ashburn was like so faded, it's almost completely gone. So I'm looking for an upgrade for a while. Steve hooked it up big time. Beautiful, sweet spot autograph. Richie Ashburn, former Philly. Uh, next, this is an upgrade because my Ricky Henderson ball that I had in my <coughs> Hall of Fame ball collection was like on its uh, on the side panel. I got this really good price, I thought. It's a really nice looking example of uh, Richie, Richie, Rick, I should start the video over. Ricky Henderson signed ball in the sweet spot. Here, let's do this one. That's in the case. Um, so that's really nice. I'm going to switch hands. She's getting huge. She's like... I don't know, 30 pounds? She's a big gal. Okay. Um, sweating, guys. Sweating. It's not a video without, uh, without me sweating, huh? Um, next, I had no idea he was in the Hall of Fame. Uh, but I have an autograph. Ball of every... <coughs> every time I do that, my voice, my throat starts hurting. Um, I have an autograph ball of every living Hall of Famer, so I needed a, 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 a Harold Baines... So I picked this one up cheap from Mill, Mill Creek Sports. It's a little bit more toned than I wanted. But I got it like pretty cheap. I bought it immediately when I found out. So I may upgrade that in the future. Um, next, I got this TTM success from Lou Pinella, who may get inducted next year, the way things are going. Um, sent him a sent him $10 donation. Um, and I asked for the sweet inscription, but he did not do that, but he did do the 1969 AL Rookie of the Year inscription. So that turned out really good. I didn't realize I already had a Pinella ball, so now I have two. I could have swore I didn't, but I did. I found out after I'd already sent it. Can I see that? Um, next, I got this really cheap. This is a really nice looking card. 20... <coughs> 2006 Allen and Ginter. I should really start getting the fan out when I do these videos. <laughs> Um, Ernie Banks autograph came with a JSA, a JSA sticker, which I don't care about, but whatever. So I got that pretty cheap, probably paid about the, the cost of the authentication. Uh, we'll get it. Um, next TTM success from Jim Palmer. He's been signing for a $10 donation. So I bought a nice. Uh, somewhat low grade, not too bad. 1966 Tops rookie card. His, uh, <coughs> bless you. Bless you. She's a three. Just three? Her record's five, which I think is pretty solid, but uh, got 60% of your own personal record there, right? Um, some of his high grade rookie cards sell for a lot of money. I just want a lower grade one. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm getting emotional. Um, so anyway, got that signed, uh, 1966 Tops rookie card signed by Jim Palmer for, th for a $10 donation. Very happy with that. This one I was really excited when I got it back. I opened it up, I was like, oh, sweet. I don't usually do that with TTNs. The ones I send out are kind of ones I'm expecting to get back. 
Um, but I was really excited to get this back. Two of two from Bill Bradley, the former congressman and former Nick Hall of Famer. 72-73 uh, tops, which turned out absolutely perfect. I absolutely love that set. And then I got uh, this one right here, the 73-74 tops. You had enough? You've had enough? Okay, Manny Moe's saying bye. I'll bring her back. Um, then we got two of two from Brooks Robinson with a cash donation, 72 tops. 68 tops. Uh, I sent this in the season. Got it back in December, obviously. Two of two from Luke Weaver, who's with the Diamondbacks now. It was part of the Paul Goldschmidt trade that, that ruined my collecting life. Uh, I got two of two from uh, Bill Parcells. Unfortunately, uh, he thinks I, my name is Paul. So I got two of two personalized to Paul. And they're signed in pen. So it means there's indentations, so I can't take the personalization off those. So those are, I'm not sure what I'm doing with those. Uh, next, Boomer Esiason, who has his own foundation, signs for $10 a card. Got his 1986 Topps card signed. The only problem is, when he sealed the self-addressed stamp envelope, the, the adhesive stuck to the card pretty bad. So I took a hairdryer to it. Hopefully I could have pulled it off. Yeah, I got some, some paper loss there on the right, so I don't know. I mean, the money went to a good cause. Uh, I think his son is autistic. I think it went to some autistic foundation. <clears throat> so I may just resend another one of these cards instead of complaining, you know, that a card got ruined. But anyway, Boomer Sice. And I got two of two from Bob Costas, which is nice because I sent him a request like a year ago, never got it back. Resent in like November, October or November, got two of two. So that first request either was lost in transit, or uh, he said, I ain't signing for you, bud. Uh, next, Bob Cousy, 101, this was personalized, but did some uh, personalization removal magic. Can I come back? You wanna show him your cards? So when I do these videos, Maddie Mo gets mad when I don't let her play with my signed cards, so I give her like five or six unsigned cards. This time it was 2006 Fleer tradition. Uh, Morgan Ensberg. Gem Mint 10. What else you got? You got Jason Schmidt, Aubrey Huff. Jason Schmidt apparently is the most tasty of the 2006 Fleer traditions. Yeah, it is good. It's got a certain like saltiness flavor to it. Um, next, 2 2 from Richard Petty. Sign these in really good ink. A lot of times he'll sign in like paint pen that don't turn out real well. These turn out really good. Sign in two different pens as well. This one on the left is really cool looking. Next, Sid Bream signs for a, a $1 donation, so I sent him five cards. Uh, I got an 85 Don Russ and 85 Topps rookie cards. 86 Topps, 92 Topps. And as far as I know, the only card that actually uh, commemorates the slide, the 1992 NLCS, his old collector's choice card from 1995, which I asked him to do um, that inscription, which he did perfectly. So, very cool card there. It's the only problem is it's a collector's choice. This is one of the lower end sets out there. So, uh, next, Pat Hayden. Sent him four cards. Personalized every one of them, which he doesn't have a tendency to do. Um, so, I took off the personalization off the only glossy card I got, this UD Legends card. And then I got three personalized vintage, not really, well, I guess they're vintage tops cards. Next, former Cub catcher, Damian Miller. Really cool looking autograph here on 4-4. I will say, it's a lot easier showing these cards off when I'm not holding a human. So there's two of two. Here's another one, nice refractor. Love that card, the Cubs Uni. And it's nice Topps Heritage. Next, Doug DeSenseis, who uh, seems to always be in tax evasion trouble. <laughs> Signed 4-4, including this Topps rookie card. I did have this card. And then I sent it to Manny Trio and he ended up keeping it. So guess what? I'm just keeping this one as is. I'm not going to risk losing a second Doug Disensei's rookie card from 75 tops. So those are two of them. We're almost done. we got two more here. And lastly, we got... Oh no, this is the last of the TTMs. Here, let's move over here now. Switch her up. There you are. See? Hi. Here's your cards. Here you go. Um, no. Ed Whitson on 4-4. Four, four. He used to be pretty tough through the mail, now he's signing all of a sudden. <clears throat> I already had the 90 score card, so it's just a dupe. So that's it for TTMs. Next are just uh, non-certified 
purchases or trades. Um, you want to go down? Okay, you'll be back. She'll be back. Here you go. The beads. The beads are real. Um, next, someone was selling a bunch of uh, in-person basketball. I just got them dirt cheap. Really pumped about this one. 1991-92 Skybox. I'm sure Chris will like this one. Steve, uh, Steve Kemp. Yeah, Steve Kemp, the former, uh, former catcher. Um, Sean Kemp. I'm sure one of his kids named is Steve. Chances are pretty uh, realistic that one of his children's names are Steve because he's had like three dozen kids. Jamal Crawford. Um, this did have a small smear, but not anymore. Motown did some Motown magic on that sucker. Larry Brown, signed right over the face. Penny Hardaway. Glenn Rice rookie card. Rajon Rondo. Turkey Red Rookie, and Hall of Famer Chris Mullen on a Fleer League Leader card. Next, I got this cheap. Uh, I bought this for less than the unsigned card goes for. Topps Pro Debut, Jose Ramirez, perennial AL MVP contender. I was I, I, I had him wrong. He, he's completely outproven what I thought he could do. So, props to Jose Ramirez. Next, Terry Francona, possible future Hall of Famer on an 86 Tops traded uh, card when he was with the Cubs. Stan Bonson, uh, Banson, Bonson, Banson, Bonson. 67 Tops rookie card. Bobby Mercer there as well, and this is inscribed 1966 NL, I'm sorry, AL Rookie of the Year. 68, sorry. Um, got this Ron Swoboda, 1966 Tops. It's technically not his rookie. It's his first solo card. They have a Swoboda card. I had an 8x10 with uh, someone else. I forgot who. Um, next, really excited about this. I'm down to 20 cards from a 1990 score set. My goal this year is to knock down five more to put me at 15. I got this at the, at the end of the year for five bucks. I've been looking for it for 15 years. Lee Mazzilli. Really nice looking autograph there. So I couldn't hit that buy not quick enough. And I'm sure I was the only person probably in the world looking for a 1990 score Lee Mazzilli. Um, got these cheap, uh, Soli uh, Matthias and Jacob Junis. Uh, NL All-Star Jesus Aguilar, who's, who really came on last year with the Brew Crew. And the rest of these were like pay-it-forwards where someone posts on a, a, a thread cards that are up for grabs. If you're interested, you, uh, you claim it and then you put up some equally or better stuff of your own. So I got this nice Sean Landetta rookie card. 90, I'm sorry, 96, 86 tops. Didn't have a Landetta, now I have a Landetta signed rookie card. Steve Mongo McMichael. Nice 93 tops card. Uh, Philippi Sparks, who is Jordan Sparks' dad. Just by coincidence. Didn't have a Philippi Sparks. Andy Heck, I already had his autograph, but not in a Bears Uni, so that's a nice looking card. Jay Novacek. Maddie Mo, come here. We're almost done. Come here. Come here. Hurry. Come here. Come here. Hurry. Jay Novacek. Come here. Come here. Uh, Conrad Dobler. And lastly, I was seven years old when this card came out, so if I botched the name, forgive me. I'm going to go with Toonch Ilkin. It does have a smear on it, but it doesn't sign through the mail or anything. Maddie Mo, come here. Come here. Come here. I might have to go retrieve her. So that's it for cards. Um, yeah, she's going up with the thing. So I'm going to go grab her real quick because it's not a full video unless, unless she does her outro. So. Slide right in here. <gasps> Who's that? That's all we got for now. We want to thank you all for watching. Oh, man. She's just literally eating the card. It's high in fiber. So that's all we got for now. I want to thank you all for watching. And as always, please, can you stay, stay safe? What is it? Stay safe. Stay safe. She beat. She beat Mindy Mo. Stay safe. Do it again. Stay safe. Perfect. Stay safe, guys. Can you wink? All right. Stay safe, guys.